Hi, I'm going to uh, do a little harvesting. Of all things, I actually do have some ripe, or ripening, I should say, tomatoes. And it's quite unusual for, for my garden. I, I usually don't get too many ripe ones. But as you can see, there's quite a few that are ripening up. And I've picked a few. Uh, they've been very small, but uh, they're, they're very tasty. It's kind of on the dry side. But anyway, I'm main reason I grew these and for the green ones, and before they all ripen up on me, I thought I'd better pick them. So that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, I got my harvest bucket here. Now I happen to have gotten a free sample of uh, Slee Stack Automatic Harvest Powder. And I'm going to try it out today and see how it works. So let me zoom in on that and get you a better look. Let's try it out on that, those right there. What do you think? If I can get it open. Okay, let's see what happens. Wow, did you see that? The only trouble is I don't know where they went. Hmm. Well, that's truly amazing. Um, I'm not going to use it on the rest of the plant. I want to save some and try it on the beets later. So I'm just going to cut these all by hand. I'll leave the red ones on there for a while, or the ones that are ripening. Let them finish ripening. And by harvesting these, the rest may speed up the ripening. One problem, continuing problem that I've had is, uh, and this is not the first year this happened even worse last year. I don't know if you can see that, but the tomato starts, it's not really rotting, it's hard as a rock, but it starts to turn kind of a brown and there's nothing you can do to stop it that's eventually going to take the whole tomato. And of course it'll end up like that one. I don't know what that is or, or uh, what causes it, but it's a continuing problem I've, I've had here. It must be something in the climate or my soil or some darn thing, but this is not the place to be growing tomatoes anyway, so. I'm happy uh, with even this small amount of red ones. This is uh, the best I've ever done. Okay, there's what I got. Nearly a whole bucket full. I will weigh them up and, uh, well actually I'll have to weigh them because I need to know the weight uh, for the recipes. I'm going to be making uh, green tomato uh, relish and green tomato chutney out of these. And I left on the ones that were, or probably could have had a, a chance to finish ripening up. And uh, we'll see what the next few days bring on that. It's starting to get cold here at night. It was 38 last night. So uh, it's time. And next time I get out here, I'm going to try some of that slee stack powder on uh, the beets and see if I can get them to pop right out of the ground. One last thing on these carrots. Um, they're so thick in there that I'm not quite sure how I'm going to be harvesting them. But... Um, I'll think of something. What I'm thinking of doing, and I'm not going to do it for a while yet, but uh, is just cutting all the tops off and dumping the bag out like a bag of potatoes, harvesting a bag of potatoes. I think that might be my best option. Okay, that's it now. I'm going to go in and uh, get started on my green tomatoes relish and chutney. I'm going to weigh that bucket up too and uh, I'll let you know how much I have uh, in pounds. Well, I ended up with uh, 
just a little bit shy of 15 pounds. So that should be more than adequate for making my relish and chutney. And uh, yes, I do intend to make a video of making the relish. And uh, stay tuned for that. And then uh, we'll have some left over. My wife wants to try fried green tomatoes this time. We've never had them before, so we're looking forward to that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.